Okay, we've got our base ready to go. We're just going to make sure we seal it with a mix of PVA and water. So the glue that you've got, if you've got the kit set, will come with PVA, which we'll also use as our glue. So we'll take the stopper off. Just put a little bit in there. So it's sort of half and half, just guesstimating. Get that ready for our glue. A little bit of water. Right. And just coat. It's good to do both sides. You can always do the back of it when you're finishing mosaicing and grouting. So we'll just get the front done for now. Okay, so now we've let our um, board dry. We're going to um, start drawing um, a rough pattern of how we want to do our wings. So with your kit set, you'll be getting some um, glass iridescent sticks, and there'll also be some plain white as well. So we're going to mix all these together. So first of all, we're going to roughly draw on um, just some lines, flow lines, to give us an idea of how we want to place our white tiles. So I'm just doing... little lines like this. The same thing again, you can make them smaller, have them longer. But it's about just getting different sizes. So same thing here, next one down, we might do a... These are the tool that you'll be using today and as if you've got a kit, they do come with the kit if you've bought them with um, everything, or well, there is the option just to buy the board and all the um, tools, uh, all the glass, sorry. Um, so this is your round wheel cutters. After a while, when your wheels get blunt, you can actually turn them and with an Allen key, move them around and then retighten them. All right, so we're just gonna start hand towards the end of your cutter. I wanna just cut some squares. We do longer ones, smaller ones, just all different shapes. So once you've got these, a little pile of them and start doing your filling in your wings. So it's always handy to have a little container to cut into that way you will find all your bits and pieces they won't be all over the floor. So I'll keep two left just in case I have to do some sort of angle cuts and some funny cuts somewhere. Right so that's our little pile first one. It's really handy to have a sharpie as well, that way you can just cut off your angles that you need to cut. So this will be our first one. See so it's slightly a little bit different to the pattern but that's just a guideline. I'm cutting off that little corner. So that'll be our first one. Same thing again, find one that's the same width as this one, otherwise you may need to cut one down. So you can put one up that way. Follow the line of your wing. Wrist, wrist, put your wrist nice and straight. So it's slightly longer, but that doesn't matter. You can cut it small if you want. So as I said, your pattern on there is just a guideline. It helps to have all different sizes. So we can do like a slightly longer one there, shorter one there, longer one the next one over. Next one, we might do a slightly bigger one down here. Let's have a look at this one. So this one, I'm just gonna, I might do this one here. Put it on an angle. So just follow roughly the lines that you've got. in place and just flatten your glue down now I'm just going to quickly take a couple of little points off just in the corners that'll give us a nice little um, 
nibbled look of the wings so they won't be so perfect. So you see that already it changes the shape of them. So you can um, also do this before you glue them down. It would be a lot easier, but that was just to give you the idea of how it's going to, the layout's going to be. So four points, just ever so slightly. So you just see the difference that it looks a lot nicer like this here. So four points. Start back here and we'll work back into the wing part so you can have an idea what we're going to do on these corners. So I'm going to lay my first bit down here, have it hanging over the edge. I'm just going to follow the curve round of my wing. by putting my cutters on an angle, I'm just going to tidy up those little baggy bits there. Bite the little corners off. Leave us so slightly. And then what we can do is we can build back to here. Same with up here. So this one here is kind of a long pointy bit there. So same thing again, just put, um, get a wider bit of your tile. So maybe we'll just cut a wider piece off. With my Sharpie, I'm gonna follow around Tail. The tail, the wing. <laughs> right. I might have cut this in a couple of goes. Tidy it up. It's pretty good. Okay, that's our wings all done. Let's have a closer look. We'll bring you down and have a wee look. To give you an idea. So as you can see, they're all nicely nibbled. Okay, let's start on his body. So we've got the two eyes. These are just a 20 mil tile. Same thing again. 
put our glue down. So with the um, body, I'm going to use a green iridescent stained glass. Put these on. And we're going to cut them into little circle shapes. So I've done a few here to give you the idea. So I've got all different size circles. See how beautiful iridized they are. They're really quite lovely. Let's have a closer look. So these are some of the shapes that we cut earlier on. So it's sort of got some longer ones. Right, so in your kit, if you've got a kit, you would have got a stained glass. I'm just going to get some colours. Right, so we're just going to cut roughly a square or rectangle shape. Going to cut that in half again. So then we've got two tiles. I'm going to cut the four corners off just very slightly. We'll cut this one in half again so we get some smaller circles. So that's roughly what you want to have, something like that there. And just all different sizes, so we'll cut a whole lot up. Putting a little bit of glue on first. So just sort of working in an area at a time. Just be mindful to make sure you've got the iridized side up because it can be a little bit hard to see. Just sort of turn it over and double check. Now I'm going to have the slightly bigger ones in the middle for his body. And then we'll just fill in the sides with the slightly smaller ones. Got these ones here. I don't know if you can see those, but they've got slight lines going down, which are quite pretty, and some of them have little gold threads through them. So I want to keep the lines going up this way, so I'm going to cut it opposite. I'll show you what I mean. So that's the lines. I'm just going to cut it in half, and I want to keep the lines going up this way here. So we'll just go down the body. Same thing again, make sure the lines are going upwards. Let's have a look. So I'm going to put them down with the lines running down. And this will make up the base of his tail. Right, so I prepared earlier, <laughs> so let's get these down. They're quite beautiful actually with these gold bits in there. Right. You'll find if you did buy a kit set from us, which has all the tiles, we will put a couple of extra tiles in just so you can just practice just in case you have um, a bad cut. We'll leave you some extra ones in. So I'll just show you what we're going to do here. So I'll leave a bit of a gap there because I might have to adjust a few. Make sure that's straight. Get our one here, and I think on the end we are going to put a whole one. So what I want to do here, same thing again, see how it does come rounded a bit here. So I want to kind of visualise that about there. So now I'm just going to just roughly draw on here, keeping this width the same, but just rounding it off to give it a little bit of a shape. Okay, like we look at the top of his head, see we've got quite a rounder shape here. So we're just going to lay this on top of our glass eyes. 
they're not after me i've been very good today <laughs> so i'm just going to draw roughly where i think that might go just sort of a rounder shape So get rid of the excess glass, tidy it up just by grinding it through there. You just hear that biting noise. I'm going to give it a scoop. I've got a scoop there, I lift it up and I can see I've got to take out more. So now you've got sort of that rough shape. You can now draw a bit more of a scoop cut here. Hold your angles, sorry, hold your cutter on an angle. You should get a nice scoop out there. So that'll be that side and then the same with this one. So I might take a bit more out of this one. So cutters on an angle. And that's perfect. If you find that a little bit tricky to do, it does take a bit of practice. You can just fill in with your, um, or you can just put a little triangle on the top like that. And then just soften off that point if you want to. You can just leave it like that there. So that will be another way you could do it. So that was just basically getting a triangle out of your glass and then just rounding the point. And the grout will go into here. Okay, so that's just another easy way that you could do that one there. Right, I usually start from one end, I work a little bit of the way in, and then I'll work a little bit of the way, the way in this end. Just flatten that glue down so it's not going to be in a pile, otherwise, if you sit your tiles on that, they're just going to float around. So one that end, one this end, and then I'm going to work my way in. The reason I do this is so I don't work from one end back to here and I get to the end and I've got a tiny little gap. So this way I can slowly spread them out as I need. So now I'm putting my last one in and I can sort of either adjust the gaps, come in a little bit closer if I want to. But I'm thinking that I'm not going to get another one in. I think I'm going to be pretty tight. So I'm better off just adjusting my gaps. Coming in a wee bit each side. And even notice the gaps perfectly. Alright. Now I'm going to start from here and work back. So I've left this one here. I'm now going to work on this one. As you see, I need to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of an angle cut. So you can use your marker for this one here. Same thing again. I want to just take a little bit off of here, just so it fits in nicely. It's perfect. I mean, some you don't have to be that fussy with, but um, it's just getting the hang of making these nice little. Um, angle cuts like that, they just really go in quite nicely. And hopefully we should be able just to fit one in perfectly. Yeah, look at that, perfect. Right. So we'll continue on. So now we're going to start just always double check that they don't move. Now we'll start from this end and we'll work it in. So you can see this one here. 
if I put it down, it's going to need a nagel cut. So just lift it up like that slightly, hold it on there, and this will sort of give you an indication of what you need to cut. So I want it to fit in there nicely, so that is what I'm going to cut. I hope you can see that little line I've drawn on there. Hold it firmly, just make sure you get your cutters positioned before you cut because sometimes they can wobble around on those bridges. So just kind of get a good grip in the centre, slice it down. and then we'll work back into it. Okay, we're going to start with the um, inside border now. So I'm using these 10 mil tiles. I put a bead of glue down here. I'm going to ensure that they are glued a bumpy side down. That is the bottom. So we'll just carry on gluing along here. No particular pattern, just picking up whatever colour I feel I want to have. Here you'll see it's going to need to be cut. So the same thing again, just pop that on there. And I've got to take a tiny bit off the top there, which I'm going to get some cutters might help. Okay. And I'm just going to cut one in half, which I think is going to fit perfectly in there. And same thing again with this one here. Okay, we're ready to start on our background now. So you would have got stained glass pieces in your kit. Um, these, are we're just going to cut them to random sizes. So basically just um, don't cut too high off the table, cut low down. Put your cut in there, you are going to get some crazy kind of cuts. But all we want to do is basically just get some smaller pieces to work with. So I'm not too concerned about what sort of size at the moment. Just cutting this down to some workable size pieces. Make sure you have safety glasses on when you are cutting your glass. You can see how easy it cuts from the larger sheets. Right, so now we've got a few pieces to work with. We're just going to cut some different sort of shapes, so probably some triangle sort of shapes. Um, don't have to all be triangles, just imperfect shapes are perfect. <laughs> And I would also suggest cutting some a little bit smaller, just so you've got some little space fillers. So I'm just going to do some little triangle tiny shapes. So 
so these are roughly I guess about a 20 cent piece size you can make them as small as you like right start with a bit of glue so same thing again I usually work in a section at a time so it's really handy to have all your glass cut ready to go flatten it down to start with our first piece so make sure they do have a smooth side and a slightly rougher side sometimes it's really hard to tell with stained glass but one may be a little bit more shinier than the other so just try and keep the shiny side up if you can now if you are a beginner sometimes this can be a little bit daunting so um, as I said just try and keep your gaps close together um, always use these little ones if you have an awkward gap or trim them to fit in you'll see what I mean as we get going So the Sharpie is really handy to just help you make markings on your glass where you need to cut. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to cut this little piece off here because you can see how it just sort of hangs over. If I cut that little piece off there, I'll be able to get a nice little piece in here. So I'm just going to pick that one up. Trim off its tail. So you're always thinking about where your next piece is going to go. So now by doing that, I've created a... I can get more of a one piece in there so pick up something find a similar shape that you may have sort of ready to go sometimes if you've got a pile you can sometimes just pick up one and it fits in perfectly so let's have a look I think we might make one to fit in there so I've got that sort of first cut in there so I'm just gonna that down let's see how that looks yep just about just a little bit more up here perfect Right, we'll just continue on. So remember to use these little pieces if you need to, because they do come in handy. Um, this does take a little bit of practice. Um, if it is your first piece, don't be too hard on yourself. Just You can fill it in like this here, and then just go back where you've got awkward gaps, and then just pop in little pieces like this in. Right, there you go. So you just see little pieces we've used to fill in the gaps. It's another little one there. So as you can see, it's roughly fitted back nicely and the grout will go into these gaps. So 
it is really handy just having those little tiny pieces just to tuck in when you need them. There's another one there. But all in all, she's finished, so we're ready for grouting.